Now, trainers are big business. They've never been more fashionable or desirable. Some pairs go for hundreds of pounds, while some of us have hundreds of pairs. New research, though, suggests we own a staggering 58 million trainers in this country alone. The question is, what is the environmental cost? Well, Holly Goodall has the answer. From sneakers to high tops, trainers are up there when it comes to London's fashion industry. And teens in particular have got behind the trend. My name's Shanice, I'm 27 and I'm a trainer enthusiast. Shanice likes to buy what's known as hype trainers, all the limited edition footwear from specialist retailers. They became like a fashion icon and a way for me to distinguish myself from like my peers and show off my passion for all things sport really, that's where it started from. According to new figures out today, UK teenagers own 58 million pairs of trainers, but a third weren't worn in the last three months. I spent like £200 per pair or something. Three every month, each shoe is just under 200 so there's quite a lot I think. Everyone looks really good and they're like nice new shoes, it all looks really nice, I'm like oh. Oh, OK, I think I should. One in every three or four posts on Instagram is an advert. And it's pressure from social media, which the authors of the report say is driving the race for the latest runners. We know that this constant reinforcement of those messages, buy these trainers and you'll be popular, buy these shoes and you'll be rich, actually serves to harm the well-being uh, of young people. So we're very concerned about that. But clearly there's an impact on the planet. The emissions from making those 58 million trainers is equivalent to travelling by car around the world 50,000 times. The industry is already under pressure to clean up its act, with major brands introducing shoe recycling schemes and some eco-trainer models. Apart from this amazing material being entirely bio-based, biodegradable... But entirely uh, sustainable shoes are still few and far between. Uh, this London company is trying to go the whole way through its manufacturing process and choice of materials. Well, this is one kind of alternative trainer that's already on the market. It's made from recycled polyester and natural cork and rubber. The idea being that both the shoe and the manufacturing process are sustainable. The fast methods of making shoes also happen to be the most harmful ones, both to the factory workers and in the environment. So leather has a tanning agent that is called chromium, and this is regarded as the fourth worst polluter in the world. Yet 90% of leather um, is made from this substance. Companies like this are a step in the right direction. But campaigners say it's going to take a change in culture to reverse the damaging side effects of our obsession with trainers. Holly Goodall, BBC London. Cork trainers.